We have just learned the death toll from Hurricane Ian has now reached 77. This is according to the Florida Medical Examiner's Office. We are waiting for an update from Governor Ron DeSantis, and I promise we will bring it to you live when it happens. Meanwhile, power outages stretch from Florida to Virginia. Coastal communities in North Carolina felt Ian's storm surge and winds overnight. Residents there are being warned about downed power lines that could be in the floodwaters. I'm joined now by Democratic candidate for Senate in North Carolina, Sherry Beasley, who is in a very competitive midterm race. Thank you, Judge, for being here. I'm going to ask you about the election in just a moment. But, but first to what is happening right now in North Carolina. The North Carolina Institute for Climate Studies has said that over the next 80 years, the state can expect disruptive sea level rise, a substantial e increase in the chance of flood from coastal storms. A after this hurricane, do you think now is the time to talk about how and where North Carolina rebuilds? Because this is an issue of climate change. Well, it is, Simone. I, I think it's important to say first, though, that I'm really sorry, and, and my, my prayers sincerely go out to the folks who have suffered devastation and loss of life uh, in North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida, and other states. And uh, we've certainly felt the impact of heavy rainfall here, uh, wind, and uh, flooding, as you just saw, and a lot of folks have lost, have lost electricity. So we certainly want to make sure that these folks get back on their feet uh, and, and that they have the support that they need to be able to, to move forward. But this is a tough time for North Carolina. Uh, our election, our, our hurricane season gets uh, longer every uh, year. And, and it is uh, part of the climate crisis. Our sea levels rise, we have flooding and um, and it and it is tough, and it is all a result of, of climate of the climate crisis, and we really have to be serious about it. Our prayers are definitely with the people of North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida, and Virginia right now, and Puerto Rico. Uh, I want to turn to talk about the midterm elections because they are only 38 days away, and. You are basically tied in the polls against your Republican opponent for Senate Ted Budd. From September 5th to September 26th, we checked the numbers, and Republicans spent $4 million more million in North Carolina than the Democrats on, in your race. Do you think that Democrats need to spend more money to help you flip the seat? You know, um, I'm really excited about where we are. We are feeling a lot of energy in this race. Um, and you're right. Uh, Ted Budd and his allies uh, have spent millions, actually, you're talking about a short period of time, but millions of dollars against me, working hard to distort my judicial record. I've been a judge for over two decades uh, and chief justice of the North Carolina Supreme Court. And, uh, and they're spending that kind of money because they know that they really can lose this race. It's important for people in North Carolina to really understand what's at stake in this in this race. Uh, that Congressman Ted Budd has been uh, serving for six years in Congress, and at every turn, he has shown that he is far more uh, consumed with corporate and special interests than his own, and he is putting the interests of the folks here in North Carolina second. And so we need to have a senator who's going to stand strong for our values here in the state. We need someone who understands that our constitutional values really have to be fought hard to protect. Uh, we know that uh, Congressman Ted Budd supports an absolute ban on abortion without exception mm. for rape, incest, or risk to a mother's health. And we know what that can mean for so many women here in North Carolina and across this country. It means that women will you die, know, Simone, and that is absolutely unacceptable. Mm. You know, uh, Sherry, you mentioned abortion. My team did some research and found that education taxes and crime appear to be some of the top issues for North Carolina voters. Abortion is actually next on that list. Um, you have openly backed law enforcement. You've denounced efforts to defund the police. You have aired several ads on this as well. But your opponents, they are trying to paint you as soft on crime. They are attacking your judicial record during your time, as particularly as chief justice. <laughs> What is your response to the recent ads attacking you? 
Well, I'll say there are a whole host of issues, but I would say primarily folks uh, want to know that the next senator is going to fight hard to lower costs. People are feeling everything from pain at the pump to the cost of prescription drugs and everything in between. And so I know that it is paramount that we do that. And certainly folks hear a whole lot about education because we all want our children to do to do well. You know, the attacks happen when you don't have a record to stand on. Uh, and, and I have been attacked by Congressman Ted Budd and his ad allies. Um, unfairly attacked. And uh, and we know that they have worked hard to distort my judicial record. Uh, we know that I've been accused of taking corporate PAC money, and I do not accept corporate PAC money. He does. Um, and, and, and the things that they're saying about me and my candidacy are just false. And it's just a little strange. I mean, I've been I've been an elected official for over uh, two decades, and uh, and folks here have had uh, real trust and confidence in my work and my service. So I would ask folks to please go to my website at sherrybeasley.com to know more about my candidacy. There's a clear choice in this race. We can have someone who has shown that he does not stand for the values of the state, but we can have someone who's going to stand for what's right, call out what's wrong, and lead courageously. Sherry Beasley, if elected, you will be only the third black woman to serve in the United States Senate ever. We will be watching this race. Thank you very much for your time today, for being here. Thank you.